competition. Exactly. Uh, today, today is like the one, the one time, like every like four years or so, where um, <laughs> where everybody is a soccer fan. Not me. I, <laughs> I still don't know anything about soccer. I don't I just, you don't know. Worry. Um, but hi, well, welcome to the finals. I'm Regina. And I'm Arnie. And we have for you your final match. You just saw one of them last round. You saw the one in the previous round. It's going to be Matt Alcino versus Giovanni Costa. Um, actually, they're both, I guess, they're, they are now reversed. That's fine. Yeah. It's okay. This is a case of stolen. This is a, yeah, you had it right there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's cool. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so Matt is going to be on screen, and then Giovanni is going to be on the right side. That's going to be on the left. And they are looking yeah. at each other's teams. You can see the, the thinking happening right now, actually, on Gio's face and at yep. the bottom. Um, and they're talking about that's, codes. Yep, um, that, uh, that's what happens at the start of the match. You try and put your code while thinking about, what am I going to lead look, with? Look, the, fun, <laughs> the fun thing about stuff like this when it comes to player cameras is you can see the stress happening on the face. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just, just something like that happening right now. Um, I mean, honestly, like, I, it, it's it, it feels, it feels weird to say this, but like, I'm not extremely surprised to see both of these people in the finals um, not they're at both all. very good players right like even like pre um pandemic and covid and all that like uh matt and, uh like you know making a, a name for himself as well and like geo yeah. i guess i guess you know pretty pretty decent player all around um <laughs> i mean we saw both of these kind of have memorable moments earlier in the tournament we saw geo go a three turn game we saw matt go with that knockoff on the mouse hold and basically save the game so like i we've seen really memorable moments and here we go let's get going in the match we got matt on the left with the murkrow goldengo hydragon garchomp sylveon and Miascarada. geo on the right with goldengo gastrodon paldian taros blaze breed which is fire type Miascarada, armor rouge and ndd so uh, overall fun i think uh, this is gonna be fun because on one side you got both tailwind and trick room because mouse Grotto has trick room but on geo side you do, uh, don't have any real speed control nope no, he's got zero speed no control, control. control. no tailwind got no trick room and then if you're mad that's something you're like, clearly looking out for because then right now what you're doing is you're playing the uh what is our spear tier this game and in no. that instance you have to think about that paldean tauros because that's probably going to be fast. yeah that's like really one fast. of those scary fast pokemon i think right? it's actually the uh second fastest to mouse on the on the field here so, well, like, so what, what you're looking at right now is like it, it, matt is currently locked into hydrogen on Guard chomp, right? You're mm -hmm. you're trying to give yourself that speed advantage. The thing you you're gonna have to worry about too then is like, what is your matchup with with Goldengo? Yeah. I, I think bringing the Merkur here would be really interesting. Um, what that that's actually a really uh, wild choice for me. I think. I know. I'm. I. I Sylvia does actually have a pretty decent matchup, matchup here, matchup, yeah. especially the fact that it has Terra Blast. Uh, yeah. It is a Terra Fire type. Yeah. I, I think there's nothing wrong with going Sylvia mm -hmm. Miascarada here because no, really, it's not bad at all. there's no reason to worry about the the Merkur yeah, as your form of speed control against Geo yeah. when you have all the speed advantage in the world at and, that point. You know, I wouldn't even be surprised if we see uh, Heat Wave come out from Hydreigon or, or, or Terrestrial Fire, I mean, um, because that Taros one-shots with the Close Combat on Hydreigon and it's faster. So if you're going to get that Tailwind up, you need to Terrestrial. It's kind of interesting that just Taros alone can put a lot of pressure on and we're going to see Goldingo uh, Gastron, so no Taros, but Taros does put a lot of pressure on your speed here. And we're going to see Matt lead with that Hydreigon and Garchomp. And I think here, um, it's not a terrible lead. I mean, because Matt's got a bit of an advantage because of the speed, but You also Geo... have to be really careful because of that Garchomp, if it if it decides to maybe trap size, and like, there's yeah. no, yeah, there's no reason not to go for Earthquake here, right? Because yeah. uh, now you're just like a powerhouse against both the Gastron and the Goldingo. I think here, like, yeah. The, ga the Gastron, yeah, the Gastron does have speed control a little bit on Geo's side because he's got Icy Wind. I think that may be the smart play here. You go for an Icy Wind because, you know, Gastron is very bulky, can hit. It goes for the Icy Wind. Both things are weak to it, so it'll deal some solid damage. You protect your Goldengo, and then once both are slower than Goldengo, you click uh, Terrestrial, or I think we're seeing Terrestrial right now, but you're going to click Make It Rain and... Uh, but no. Gastron gonna trash with a fairy, okay. Uh, that's actually right. fun, because both Pokemon are weak to fairy. Or, well, now just Hydreigon's weak to fairy, but... I, I mean, like, fun, fun Gastron doesn't have any fairy-type fairy moves here, but at least you're negating some of, like, the damage yeah. that it would take from otherwise. But Goldengo's like, hey, I'm gonna protect this turn, because yeah, I don't really want to take an Earthquake, uh, <laughs> and, and power like, all this. Quick. I mean, you also have to think, right, if there's, like, uh, yeah. like the Draco Meter or the Dark Pulse, right, now you're both at the spot. Both those are gonna yeah. do a lot of damage onto the Gastrodon. And, or it would have. Yeah, and you need Gastron to live a turn because um, it does around half damage with that. Just and there's the Draco so Meteor, so yeah. 
Yeah, uh, Yashima's like, Icy okay, wind. that's cool. I'm a fairy yep, now. Can't touch me. Uh, Icy Wind gonna connect with that Hydragon and the Guard Chomp. Um, the more important thing here, though, is that you have that speed control now with that Icy Wind. So I think if you're here, you, you know nine times out of ten if one Icy Wind or two is gonna be able to knock, uh, is gonna be able to knock down the speed tier yeah. of both Hydragon and Guard Chomp. I mean, even if it doesn't, then at least you know that from next game, right? Like this exactly. is a game all about information, more so even winning, with yeah. open team sheets. I think here. Um, What's interesting, I, I, I'm curious because because Goldengo didn't terrestrialize. It is Life Orb, yeah. so but I've got a feeling this Garchomp could have possibly lived it. I don't know. I've, it's because I got chunked by Icy Wind, probably not, but there's a chance that, and if you do, you click Earthquake, Goldengo's gone. Uh, then you have Hydreigon. The nice for Emmy could Heat Wave also, so like if one of these two Pokemon for, uh, lives on that side, that Goldengo's taking a massive hit. So it basically, it, but the question is, do you want to risk it? Because yeah. it's, a, it's, and, and, it is kind of smart to I, I would I would risk it because that even if you lose the game you get information that hey after an icy wind Goldengo oh, okay well Goldengo's not gonna hit but I was gonna say that no okay, I, I think could take what Goldengo. he's doing is he's gonna try his best to guarantee sort of um, that speed tier for himself yeah. right because then you're gonna force a uh, Garchomp or Hydreigon to have to switch out right yeah. you're gonna probably see either recover or an icy wind here oh no I never, I'm, I'm a liar that is a protect from protect. Gastrodon yep. which is kind of smart you don't want Gastrodon to go quite down yet. Uh, Hydreigon gonna tailwind. That was the smart play on Mark on that side there, I think, because now, even after an icy wind, you're gonna outspeed the Masquerada. You can heat wave. Um, you could earthquake, and that combo is. I don't think it's gonna KO on uh, that Gastrodon, but it's gonna come close. And Masquerada, as long as the heat wave connects, it that earthquake will just chunk it just enough where it loses that focus sash, and that puts Giovanni in a tough position, even with the icy winds here. Uh, or the minus one on both of Matt's Pokemon from Icy Wind. Meowth's Grotto going to protect that smart. Ooh, don't want to lose it. Meowth's going to be in a little bit of yeah, trouble, I don't know. unfortunately. There's uh, that Earthquake. That'll get it down to about 20%, I'd say. I, 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 I think the Gastrodon might not survive here unless it dodges um, that heat wave yeah. from um, from Hydreigon. If, even if it survives this hit, right? Like, we saw it do a lot last... Um, like that first time yeah, yeah barely red. holds on if it misses this heat wave onto here that'll See. be uh, like kind of wild nope um nope, it's gonna connect there. onto that gastrodon um you're still just in a really rough spot uh yeah. for geo because you're gonna be now in this instant where um <coughs> excuse me where like anything you kind of switch in is gonna be kind of in a unfortunate position with all of that speed control on that side right you have to somehow um outlive all of that tailwind armorage is gonna be that last pokemon that you see here um it's it's still not okay really it's, it's not terrible because you can i mean you could trick room uh, but then because that would negate the tailwind on that side but like you're gonna get stomping tantrum or earthquake i, I mean you're you're gonna get earthquaked and then yeah, there's no reason not to earthquake out here. I'd say. I mean. Oh no, his armorage has a uh, has white guard. Oh. Uh, that's why you. Oh, that's why you stomping tantrum. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's um, smart. Okay. Um. So stomping tantrum onto the armorage potentially, or go for the double down on the mascarada. I think you should double down on the mascarada yeah. because then you can guarantee yourself not uh, having being in a position where trick room is the thing. Oh no, he, he split his. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Mascarada yeah. swapping out here. Uh. Yeah. I think you if you because if. That's interesting. I think you have like one more turn of Tailwind after this, which both Mios Garada and Goldengo can protect. So like, I, I believe, I'm gonna, I'm gonna double check on that, but that, oh. yeah, so both of them can protect. So yeah, Armorage is gone and- Did he, did he Heat Wave here with that Hydreigon? Hydreigon here, which is gonna do solid. It does 50%, that's a lot. Oof. Um, I, I think Matt put himself in a really solid position and we know in the back that Matt's got, uh, Mios, I believe we saw him, there's Mios Garada Sylveon, so. Um, I, I think right now, if you're Matt, you, you're just trying to preserve your information. Yeah, just possible. don't like. I would, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, uh, Hydreigon switch out would be rather wise. The, uh, uh, it's tough though because it's just Meowskarada could easily knock out Garchomp. So like, do you go into your own Meowskarada potentially like? use its tricks it could go for a knockoff get rid of goldengo or i mean here you I, know I, that geo is going to protect at least the goldengo you know that he's going to yeah. uh, protect the mascot he's gonna um make sure that like that tr that that tailwind is expired at yeah. this point right because that that's really what the game we're playing exactly is. Like, i mean um, and once these pokemon switch out on that side don't forget um they'll reset the icy wind so they'll be back to normal and will outspeed at least goldengo but not mascarada i think that's I think you kind of rely on your Hydreigon here with the Heat Wave. I mean, that's kind of like, I mean, Oscarada can't hit it that much. Uh, no, it can't hit it at all. I mean, it's got, it can hit it, but not very good. It's just got, yeah, it doesn't have anything 
that is neutral or super effective, you, and you can just click look, Heat Wave and look, it's basically game. All, all Meowstrata has to do here is just knock out the Garchomp with a Flower Trick. Yeah. That's really all it's got, like, on any right? Because you're stalling out the Pretty tail much. here. Like, if you're able to at least turn this game around a little bit, like, um, the Sylveon and the Garchomp, then you just have to worry about, um, what if he, he yeah. has the Masquerada, his own Masquerada, and then the Hydreigon, right? I the mean, Hydreigon's already taken some damage. Right now, I, if I were Matt, I'd just detect on, on Sylveon. Maybe you can attack as well, it's fine, it doesn't really matter. You just need that, I mean, as long as that Meowskarada takes a hit, it's basically like it it's sashed, but you just need to hit Heat Wave. If you hit the Heat Wave with that Hydreigon and you're not gonna get KO'd by Meowskarada, you basically win the game. So if one of these two Pokemon hit that Meowskarada, as long as like as a, it comes down to the Heat Wave chance, but we're gonna see Garchomp protect, that's smart. I mean I'm guessing we're gonna see a make it rain here from Goldenga. Yeah, Mastrata the flower trick is gonna go into that Garchomp, right? Because that's that's the play that you should make. But Garchomp should be the threat that you're trying to get rid of yeah. here because that Goldengo is like, is in a lot of trouble. But as long as make it rain connects with that Sylveon, he actually should still be. is in like a pretty good position here. Um, you're just have to be careful because now you have that minus yeah. special attack. Sylveon's gonna be able to do anything. So now here no. is the issue, right? Meowskarada is also in one of those spots where yeah. it's able to go for its own flower trick. So what you could do is you could protect your Goldengo. At le or if he brings out the mascot, right? The if the Hydreigon comes back out and has that tail, that yeah. chance for Tailwind again, and then you're in that, uh -huh. then you're in trouble. So I think you don't really have much of a choice except to go for a Flower Trick into the Garchomp, yeah. and then with Goldengo, either um, t like either T bolted or like or something, because like or I mean you could even make it much. rain again. But it, you're still like in the spot where like I don't know why I said T bolt. Sorry guys, <laughs> um, but like you're still in the spot I mean, where like. I feel like here, but the, the only part, the only thing is with Ma Maelskarada, Hydreigon's faster, and then Goldengo, so, and Maelskarada, it can go for a hit on Garchomp. I, you could just I, protect I, the Goldengo on this turn, right? Did he go uh, for double protect? Yeah, he went for double protect. Oh. I, I, I think, I mean, Flower Trick on the Garchomp, yeah, but now it's going to come out of the Heat Wave. I mean, if you click Heat Wave and it does knock out, that, that's basically game, because Matt's going to have Maelskarada with a Focus Sash, and then it can literally go for any move, and that'll be the end of the game, because that's it. So, um, I think, let's, let's take a look at what this, this Karshomp here does. Oh, Dark Hedrick, I'm sorry. Uh, Tails win. Tail wins. Um, okay. Uh, I, I, I think now you're also kind of in the... Uh, if this I knock, I don't know if it's going to knock. Okay. Yeah, so, so, here now, right, is this weird spot, because uh, that Meowskarada doesn't have enough resources, I think, to take out both of Geo's yeah. Pokemon. I think it take out one. Um, it's it's actually oh, actually it's still really rough for Geo. Um, the only like really big move that this Meowskarada will have flower will be Flower Trick. I mean, you could knock off, but it really wouldn't do much. I guess. I, I think if for if I were Matt, I would focus on the Meowskarada. It was like your Meowskarada <sighs> is faster now officially than Geo's. But yeah, oh gosh, that, oh that, that was really that smart. That was smart on Geo's side. I, I, f I feel like that Tailwind should have been... Oh, ah. still okay. and, uh, no, I also agree with this, right? Because then, like, one, you see you what Matt is targeting yeah. down. You are stalling out one more turn of Tailwind. And if you can just keep doing that, because, like, now you're in a spot where yeah. um, if the Meowskarada doesn't knock out something, then you have another turn where you can just go ahead and go for a double... Like, if he gets a double Protect on this one, he might actually be in a pretty decent spot to be able to do some damage. Oh! <gasps> double protect! Oh, my God! That's it. Yikes. I think that's he, that's pretty much it. He, he got the double protect that he needed there, and um, uh, honestly, like that really really helps a lot. Um, Meowskarada is able to go for the knockoff and is able to knock that off uh, the Focus Sash as well. That is it's a crit. Uh, yeah, Geo uh, just got that's, the best that's a secret, luck. That's a secret flower trick, obviously. That, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's Meowskarada's secret trick, guys. Um, it's not just flower trick. It's also knockoff. That's it. I think this game went, went to Geo. I feel like, and, and maybe it's just me, if Matt clicked Heat Wave instead of Tailwind, I think it would have been this game. I just, but it, it's, also, it's also rough to guess that, right? Because the problem, yeah. the problem is if you don't get the knockoff there, then you're playing speed games with your Meowskarada. Oof. You're it playing is. speed games with your Masquerade versus their Masquerade, right? And if you lose that speed tie or like that that every time, so like now you're in this awkward position where yeah. uh, Geo still has his Masquerade with that Focus Sash, but you would have to play it. Yeah. yeah so no, like in this yeah, instance, yes, right, we right. don't know if it's a speed tie or not or how that's happening. Um, uh, we we personally know. Yeah. Right. But they don't. But they don't. And so that's that's something that you have to stress out about. I think that Goldengo being able to pull off that second protect was actually really good because that Matt was, was always in a really good position to sort of like have this game right um the fact that like uh, Geo has shown like on stream at least that he's been able to play around not having any sort of like um, concrete speed control because yeah. Icy Wind like you know is a form of speed control but not one that we're used to like not one that has like, a mainstay on the field because once you switch out yeah. it resets it resets so it's 
but you know what's interesting and i think maybe this is just because with when you look at geo's team for the most part it's really fast i mean taros in uh meow squad is really good and when it's not fast it's bulky so i mean you, it's it's picked he picked the perfect combination of pokemon where speed control uh, is not yeah. really an issue and like and he knows how to play around those exactly speed we've seen him go around trick we've seen him go around tailwind now and i think here though like there was nothing wrong with matt's lead of hydreigon and garchomp no i think it's those still a good lead one it gives you a fantastic form of speed control with that Hydreigon yeah. and Garchomp with Earthquake next to Hydreigon. That's just like bread and butter at this point, yeah. right? Like it's just, or I guess like with Goldengo on the team, it's like mac and cheese. I, I firmly <laughs> believe that Goldengo looks like macaroni. Uh, it's funny because people are saying it looks like the string cheese mascot online. I didn't even know there's a string cheese mascot. Yeah, like I guess it's Goldengo. <laughs> Goldengo. I mean, it literally does look like yeah, macaroni cheese. But, but like you know, you're looking at Matt's team, and uh, honestly, I I still think he brought like a pretty. Like, oh, I I can appreciate the switch to Goldengo here uh, most likely yeah, because Meow Scarado doesn't offer you as much here, right? You don't have to worry about Trick Room. Um, then you're playing speed tie games potentially against uh, Geo's own Meow Scarado. So you're at a point where like yeah. this the, is, the this only, is kind of yeah, the only thing Meow Scarado really hits would be. Gastrodon, which we've seen, it, it, it takes some damage from Garchomp and Sylveon, and then the two, the Armor Rouge and Indeed, because they're both with the Dark. However, Armor Rouge is able to get hit in the Escarada, and, and Indeed uh, does, yeah, no, it doesn't have anything. I mean, so, I'm just, I'm just impressed that I'm, 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 I'm just impressed that, that Gastrodon was the one that like uh, was the one that Trasalized not. Uh, this is still yeah. an extremely aggressive lead. I mean, I, this is. An insanely that Taros player. is awesome because right now it's gonna basically Matt has to be ready to take this bull by the horns. I, there you go. I mean, literally, because I, I, yeah, you got to swap out that Hydreigon or it's gone. The thing is, if you do that, Taros is weak to ground, you're most likely gonna lose it unless Miascarada go is able to pick up that KO on Garchomp. You can't turn, you cannot trash out your Garchomp here because you're gonna lose it to Miascarada, so you basically have to hope that that stomping tantrum. Uh, is gonna do enough on that Taros. So it's really gonna come down to how much power that Taros um, is gonna be able to take from this Garchomp here. And we're gonna see it switch into Sylveon. That's a smart play, because Miascarada can't really do too much onto it. <laughs> oh, there's a Terrestrial. He's gonna is he gonna Terrestrialize his uh, Miascarada into grass for that guarantee? No! No, Terrestrial's <laughs> <are> fighting! <laughs> That's that's actually okay. That's not bad if that's you can target the Garchomp and yeah. for the switch out. Yeah, um, that might actually KO the Garchomp here. Flower, flower trick, trick onto the Garchomp. Oh. Yeah, that combo probably is gonna call. If Giovanni called that switch out, Man, that that's gonna is like absolutely nothing. Oh, oh, it's not speeds, but it's not okay. But yeah. the thing is, it's yeah, not, it, it's it not only survives this time. The close combat gonna go into whatever spot. Oh, did it go into the okay, Sylveon? Okay. So if you had gone to that Garchomp, I think I would have like actually lost my mind that because that would have been like the craziest greed to ever do in that. No, but that fighting trash was super smart because yeah. you're not going that actually uh yeah it would have been a roll i think if in between for garchomp there i, I think here um this if oh yeah this charles has protect Ooh. so i i think here what you're gonna do you gotta you double protect and it would be fine still i think right e, yeah double protect i would i would hit with me Scarada, i would attempt to like because i think it has sucker punch i would like you could either double protect to see what's gonna happen that's smart and then plan accordingly because a sucker punch plus close combat does get rid of that garchomp you still have to be careful about the rough skin right? yeah, yeah yeah and then then but then sylveon does knock out both your pokemon so you got to kind of a maneuver which one yeah switching out taurus is smart because you're gonna definitely gonna come that. out here no golden goes in a uh, terrible position yeah Gastrodon. Gastrodon. that's smarter smart yeah choice. that's really smart uh here that's what gastrodon does best it shows up and is like hey i'm here to party <laughs> <laughs> gastrodon is, is definitely it, it's all it, Oof, it's like that weird friend that you love like. sometimes you hate sometimes so. i don't, I don't know what you're talking about gastron's always invited to whatever party i throw <laughs> I, gastron but unless you're playing against it then you're annoyed by it <laughs> yeah it's just it's, it's just kind of which Gastrodon we're inviting, but uh, yeah, I mean, like you, you do some pretty decent-ish yeah. damage on there. Um, but that switch out was really nice because you're protecting um, that Taurus related. Really, that Gastrodon takes it pretty comfortably, right? You get a little bit of health back from that leftovers. Uh, really, I, I think that's like in. See, this, this is one of those ones where you're mad. You're just like, man, now I wish I brought that um, Yaskarada because it could have knocked out that Gastrodon yeah. like in an instant. I think here, if you're Geo, you're gonna double protect is really smart, and Matt may see that coming. But I think th you gotta at least protect Gastrodon so it turns into a four hit KO from Garchomp. I think that's really important. Uh, we are gonna see Garchomp swap out to Goldengo. I, uh, uh, it's gonna, I think it's gonna take a lot of damage coming in. Flower Trick is gonna go actually into that Sylveon. I would yeah. say, yeah. Knock out the Sylveon here would be yep. really good. Uh, yeah, Sylveon I, will go down. Garchomp, you know, uh, Garchomp, um, the Gastron could at least start going for a little bit of like speed control, goes for the Icy Wing. Yeah. Um, that's really smart, honestly. I think, and uh, I feel like, 
honestly, if I'm at, I still have Hydreigon, right? I bring in that Hydreigon, make Look, sure that it goes need, for Tailwind. You need that Tailwind. You need that. that Tailwind. That is 100% one of your conditions for winning this game because if if you're thinking to yourself, Geo has a fire, or sorry, a fighting Terrasalized Taurus in the back, yeah. your Goldingo is in such a terrible position right now. Yeah. Um, this Hydreigon, though, we've seen pull through for Matt in the wildest ways before, it right? Has. Um, that burn. In the, on the King Gamba a couple games back, yeah. I think here, the nice part too for Matt, Mascarada and Gastrodon both don't threaten Hydreigon. I think here though, there's two options, right? I, I would, I, I, I think you gotta go for the Tailwind, but then protect Goldengo, or do you attack and try and get rid of them now? I, I, because get rid of the Gastrodon specifically, because if that Gastrodon Icy wins, right? You can swap out your Goldengo and then after that just make it rain make it rain etc etc so i think it, it's what uh, oh okay uh let's see what happens here gastron goes for a protect not terrible to be honest um there's no reason that Miascarada shouldn't like go for some yeah, oh, oh, oh wait for the knockoff so on the nice. oh what oh! hp oh gosh oh my goodness oh gosh unbelievable oh, no. Unbelievable. I mean, I, I think I think you're still in okay spot because look, 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 you have. No, that's okay. fine. Look. Yeah. Um, Make it rain. Picks up a knockout on Mascarada. That was really smart. Honestly, I think that was really smart because this is what if. Okay, this is what I would do if I were Matt. I would swap that Goldengo out into Gastrodon and Draco wait, Meteor. Wait, 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 sorry, sorry. You're switching out the Goldengo for Gastrodon? Oh, not Gastrodon, <laughs> sorry. Garchomp, sorry. Yeah, Garchomp. Uh, thank you. But, but uh, and there's, then, there's a high chance that like, Garchomp takes in an Icy Wind to the face. The though, only, right? But the thing with that is then if Hydreigon is able to pick up the knockout with a Draco Meteor on that. Double, double go dango now here. Yeah, because like what I'm really thinking, what, spot. I, what I'm thinking here, if you Draco Meteor on the Gastron, I'm pretty sh nah, it, ugh, I thought it was a lower HP. I think it could potentially KO. That would maybe be smart. You could also just go for make it rain Draco Meteor. Stall but, out yeah. Tailwind, right? that Drake, yeah, I think Draco Meteor is onto the Gastron slot is what I would do. I, I Because I think if you can, if you can't, it's Life Orb. It's a good chance of KO. With Goldengo, if you can keep that Tailwind up and switch, I, I, the, the, the other part to you yeah, remember no, is I think spot. Matt still has his Terrastalize, so if you're saving that for the Garchomp that you have in the back as well, um, that is also like an answer for like where you, ooh, oh, where um, oh, okay. okay, that's an interesting switch. All right. Uh, no, you know I can I can respect that a little no, bit. No, it's because, it's because yeah, your smart, your Gastrodon um it does deals with um. <laughs> deals with that Garchomp way better. Uh, so Hydra are gonna, <laughs> gonna use that Draco Meter. It's gonna knock out that Tauros. Um, and we no, know bats. that the Goldango on Matt's side is gonna go first thanks to that Tailwind. It is gonna be a single target make it rain. It is at minus one special attack though. Um, so it will be interesting to see what this is gonna do because barring like, even like, with a, yeah, that literally does nothing. Um, however, the returning um, make it rain here should be enough to pick up a knockout on the Hydreigon as well. Uh, oh no. Not oh, quite, not ah. quite. Yeah, that's that close. honestly, I think that may have, because we you saw Geo, that may have actually been the deciding factor because now I'm looking at this, Hydreigon's got Dark Pulse. Um, Gastro, uh, Garchomp, if you click Earthquake, and you click, you click protect. Oh, I'm just thinking if you could. Well, I'm just thinking that. Well, I, there's gonna be a double protect, right? You, but here's the thing: Matt outspeeds both of Geo's Pokemon now. Yeah. And I think that's gonna be a deciding factor because you click Heat Wave to get rid of Goldengo. You click Terrestrial Earthquake. Kalen's got two turns. He needs a double protect on at least. One yeah, of them. Matt, Matt's looking I, really good here. I'd I say. really like. I I think right now you're thinking about it to to both sides. You're like, it's gonna come down to another double protect. Um, you have to knock out the um, you have to knock out that Gashford on this turn. But I think here you're just gonna go behind the double protect right now. Yeah, you kind of have to. Um, you don't really have a choice, right? Jacob Meter plus Earthquake will knock it out uh, like every single time, especially now that it's terrestrializing into a ground type. Uh, that knockoff not being able to pick That's up a KO just yeah. oof. I think that that knockoff really, and again, we've seen a lot of intense matches with a lot of crazy things like going Matt's on. Matt's Pokemon just really, really like him. <laughs> it's, it's one of those where it's just like, yeah, these, these Pokemon definitely just want to like be like, yeah, uh, we're gonna hang on for you because we're, yeah. we're really good buddies. Um, and and again, like that's the, the fact that like the only form of speed control on Geo's side is that icy wind, right? Is really I think kind yeah, of rough. Um, for for uh, for him here against Matt, uh, you just got so yeah. much like firepower with like that Tailwind Earthquake and like Draco Meter combo. Um, 
It's 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 gonna be so a, much. Look, if he is able to, <sighs> I'm okay, trying yeah, to figure it's, out. It's, it's gonna come down here. I think it, it's it's a bit luck based, but I'd say Matt has the odds in his favor. It's but then again, Jaco Meteor could miss, and if that's the case, it may be the deciding factor here. Um, uh, you, you, you gotta I don't know if that's enough HP for him to survive that. Uh, and that's it's gonna be close part. if it is. It's it's gonna be really close because that Draco Meteor is yeah. minus two. So but Goldango, I think, has to. Goldango, oh! Goldango, yeah, I Goldango think has to gone. be able to get a second protect here. No. Yeah. No. That's turn and icy wind like. Oh. See that earthquake coming out first. Hydrogen, I'm not gonna get hit because it's levitating. And there is that. Cry, is that poor Goldango? Man, that was really wild. And yeah, and it does around. Oh. A, that did around 50% of Gastron's remaining HP. So. Draco Meter should pick up the knockout I think here it will off here. that Gastrodon. It does, and yeah. that puts the game in Matt's favor. Woo, that was really stressful. <laughs> what an intense game. I mean, seriously, one of the most intense games I, we've I, seen today. I actually still really think that that Tauros terrestrializing in a fighting temple is actually, like, it's wonderful to see. Um, that was, no, that was really smart. I think, especially just because Tauros, it's, m most of the weaknesses that Tauros faces in this format are thanks to its fire type, so ground, water, etc. So getting just pure fighting uh, while still keeping the uh, fire boost is huge because fire is a really good offensive type right now with Goldengo everywhere, and the fighting is also a really good offensive type with Hydreigon everywhere. So that combination is really, really useful. But you don't want to have those fire weaknesses, especially because like most of the Pokemon on here, a lot of them. I mean. Could handle that. So, I mean, yeah. so I think here, if you're a Matt, there was nothing wrong with that four that you brought. That was no, absolutely no, like 100 the correct four to bring, right? Um, you put a lot of like pressure in terms of speed control and like just offensive pressure in that moment. I, I think really the only thing that worked against you in that moment was the fact that gold, uh, that Matt's one Goldengo HP. was able to live on one HP, like right, and like if that's a roll or not, like who the heck knows at this point, but. Um, it, it really sort of swung that game in yeah. Matt's favor, and I, I, I think like in game on. one we at least saw Geo able to um, to to manage that tailwind turns yeah. all, like really well, and then this one um, Matt was just able to be able to pick the right moment to tailwind in there, and again like between that tailwind and between that gold angle living uh, with just that one HP, yeah. that really just sort of swung that momentum back in his favor from it. I, I think uh, Gastrodon has been such a, an MVP here with those icy wins, but I think at some points it's, it's been a really rough Pokemon to use. It's tough because like with Geo's team, you're looking at it, it, I was thinking potentially Geo maybe could go for Trick Room, but honestly, Armourouge, it goes down to Hydreigon. Like, it, it goes down to Hydreigon. I mean, you could indeed eat Armourouge, but then your slower Pokemon here don't do that much. It's Goldengo, which is it, make it rain does a lot, but most likely Garchomp's gonna live and pick up an earthquake. So this like is, I, you kind of yeah. have to go with the same Pokemon. I feel like. Yeah, this is definitely a battle of like the Goldengo at this point. But Masquerade yeah. and Tauros, I, it, it worked pretty well That's for him game two um, versus the Hydreigon Garchomp. Look, there is nothing wrong with Hydreigon Garchomp. That is one of I think the such such a strong it solid lead really right is. like it's clear amulet is great because now you don't have to worry about like oh am i gonna do less damage now with earthquake and the answer is no clear amulet just keeps you from like having to worry about yeah. that i think here obviously gotta worry about that taros i wouldn't be, even be surprised if we see like a trap no I, I was thinking hydrago may want a terrestrial so it can get a tailwind off but i think we're here you're just uh, yeah switching out is probably best i, I don't it's one of those mind game things. I, I wouldn't be surprised again if we see Taros terrestrialize to avoid an earthquake here from that Garchomp. Meowskarada could flower trick, but it would also risk taking some heavy damage and Look, getting rough skin. If Geo is looking at this and thinking, okay, we have the same turn one as we did before, right? Then you, if he is able to at least go into that Garchomp now and be able to, like, yeah. you know, double down into the Garchomp, then a huge chunk of Matt's firepower is now gone. Yeah, and we're right. going to see that terrestrial from Geo's side. Um, Definitely, I, I'm guessing it's going on the Taros again, yeah. I think that's smart. I think you go want to avoid that Garchomp. Honestly? I think you could double down as a Garchomp here if you're doing you're like, hey, you know what? That, that that game two turn one was like almost exactly the same. If you double down into that Garchomp, then like you're in a fantastic spot. Um, because I think if you take care of that, then then like everything else is like stomping tantrum. Yeah, yeah everything else is just like second nature. So if the close combat goes Let's into see. that Garchomp, which I don't think it did. Oh it, no, no I went into something. Yeah, so this is a wow, that did a oh. lot more this time though. Holy crackers. Yeah. Um you're still like in this really awkward spot with this, that. This is interesting. I uh, hear you. Uh, I think. I think you just hyper voice. I think you just go offensive here. I think. Well, I think right now, Meowskarada 
flower trick on the Garchomp might KO. You go for Taros, you close combat Sylveon again, seeing how much that did. You actually have Flare Blitz on Sylveon, but... Um, I think... Is he I expecting think, a switch? Yeah, this is this is rough. Like, it's, it's almost it's almost script for script, like yeah, exactly the exact what game too. In the last game. <gasps> no flower trick. Yeah, flower trick on Garchomp. Probably gonna KO here. Oh! Yes, another one died. HP save from uh, that, and that's gonna get rid of the Taros on Geo side. The hyper voice is coming, I think here. Oh that my God! Sucks. Oh, that is so unfortunate. One HP. That is the second time this match. That Matt has saved a Pokemon with one HP. That's that's actually like really unfortunate. Unbelievable. There, right? um, you're, that's like actually like that horrible. could be horrible. You lose your Tauros and your Trash Okay, okay, there. it's not it's not necessarily that bad for Geo. I mean, he. The good news is Meowskarada is still faster than Garchomp, and it's at one HP. It could pick up. Goldengo is very smart here because Sylveon is. It, it's even if Sylveon were to I think you trade, your, you, fire, you trade your Garchomp for the Meowskarada. Basically, I mean. I, I I think that's the smart call. I mean, here, you, you I think Geo's gonna go for like one of the single target moves, you, probably you Shadow Ball trade. onto Sylveon, and uh, Mioscarada's gotta. You gotta think go. you have to trade in this instant because if you don't, if you don't sucker punch right now, you lose both of your Pokemon. Um, I mean, or or you could you, you could just protect. Flower trick, <gasps> yeah. Okay. Okay. You Dual protect, probably, you, I'm guessing. It, you, there's no way you don't double protect here, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I was okay, like, so there's no least, way that, because that gold thing I would have gone. Um, at least that way, then, like, the Sylveon, uh, you, you burn protect. that protect from it. Uh, yeah. Garchomp just earthquakes into nothing. Um, man, I... Matt, Matt, your Pokemon love you. That's yeah, Matt, <laughs> That's you, all I you trained say. them well. You, you really gotta feed them sandwiches after this, because holy crackers, do they love you. Um, um, but the protect is also like you know not terrible here because then you burn the Sylveon's protect as well. You see, you kind of see what's gonna happen here. You know that you're still a little bit faster. <coughs> you're at least faster um, than the Garchomp with the Flower Trick. Um, now you're in this awkward spot where like you have to hope that like maybe your Sylveon doesn't like that. oh Garchomp's gonna protect. Nah, that. that was smart. You okay. gotta basically basically Geo's on You guys are all, you guys are all trading protects at this point, right? Uh, I'd say Geo yeah, Flower Trick on Garchomp. Yeah. I'd say Geo basically has to hope this Shadow Ball or whatever. I'm guessing he Shadow Ball oh, um, because I don't Yeah, Shadow Ball here. it's gotta KO the Sylveon basically. If Otherwise, it's on one HP, I'm just gonna go home here. Okay, I was like, oh, I, was, my God. I was like, man, if the Sylveon survives, I'm just It like, could have happened. Like, it was enough where I was like, you know what? Um, Golden, it's Life Orb, though, so yeah. And no surprise there. I think here, uh, yeah, Hydreigon is really smart because you Tailwind right away. Make It Rain is gonna do some solid damage, but your last one is Golden Go. He and just terrestrialized here. Oh, yeah, Hydreigon. You just terrestrialized, too. Like, terrestrialized. You gotta terrestrialize Hydreigon. No you have to terrestrialize right? Hydreigon. There's nothing Goldengo can do that can one-shot it, I don't think. If you have the Gastro, like, even the Gastro on the back won't be able to do anything against it. Um, uh, you gotta is he going to go for a double protect? So he goes for a double protect. Uh, oh, no, there's no earthquake. earthquake. I mean, Meowskrata just goes for a flower okay, trick yeah. or anything. <gasps> Geo withdrawing uh, the Goldengo. You can Smart. see the Gastrodon. Smart, I bet he... Yeah, Gastrodon. Yeah, Gastrodon's like really like one of your best options into this matchup, right? Because you, you eat those earthies up so yeah. well. Flower Trick is going to knock out um, that like guard, the guard top. But it's also going to be able to pick out that um, Masquerade because of the rough skin, most likely. Uh, let's see if that can activate. But no, uh, yeah, okay. it's weird. It's, it's like one of those moves that like doesn't... Oh my god, yeah. that was so much it damage. a lot of damage. Right. Oh my god. Um... Yeah, and I think Matt also has Meowskarada out, right? Uh, no, he brought um he brought his own Goldengo. Oh, Goldengo. Yeah, he left Meowskarada uh, behind. Uh, actually okay, really but he's got him well, So this, I think right now, and what's his Goldengo's uh, Terra? It's it's, uh, it's, it's also steel. steel. <laughs> okay, this Ooh. is interesting. Here's what I would do. I would. Okay, here's what I would do. I think uh, I would keep <laughs> wave. Earth power. I, uh, uh, you Earth Power that. Uh, you Earth Power that Goldengo. Yeah, but God, this gas you gotta, I think you actually gotta, you're gonna you're gonna protect you the You gotta lock on the shadow ball. Uh, smart. Oh, okay. If yeah. you double protect make here, gonna do it. Um, you could just double protect here as well, right? Um, just to figure out what's gonna happen again. I, I actually, mean, but, you know, okay, but the hard part is too is like if you're doing your thinking yourself, if you double protect, that leaves Matt open for a tailwind. Oh, yeah. I think here Geo's going. I I I would probably if I were Geo, I'd this probably protect. The ga I would protect the Gastrodon and leave me. I'm gonna ask it would probably Gastrodon I, I protecting is fine because you'll yeah, get the HP, exactly. the HP back from the left. But orders. also, here's the thing: if this, assuming this Golden Go, you know its choice effects, you know it's got Make It Rain. If it locks on to Make It Rain, it's gonna be minus one and waste that basically as a, a special attack drop on Meowth <gasps> Knock off on the Hydreigon. 
that's going to get rid of its life orb, so it will not do oh much God. damage, which was actually very smart because that Gastrodon just became a whole lot bulkier. And uh, Goldengo is going to go ahead and make it rain minus one in, on its special attack. Geo still has a chance here. I really think so. It's going to be it's very just, close. It's just a little rough because now this Goldengo is like, you know, Trastalize. Geo losses Trastalize with uh, that Tauros. So now it just comes, it becomes a matter of... Um, this good's how much down damage? Down so, so one is how well can your Gastrodon withstand a make it rain that's been trial size, even though it has like that minus uh, one to its special attack. Um, you, and which target do you, do you go after first, right? Because there's been no there's been no tailwind yet at all from this Hydreigon. Uh, that Goldengo is still at relatively I mean, good health. Yeah, and we saw that Terrestrialize, which means that. But a Dark Pulse can and. Well, now that it got its life form knocked out, it may not be able to one shot the Goldengo. I'd imagine it would though. Uh, well, the, the, other the problem is you're gonna have double. Like, double, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna it's get just hit anyways. Both Pokemon here, like one, the Gastron's too slow to really be a big of a threat for anything, yeah. and then two, the Goldengo, um, is just in a really tough spot here. Um, I, I, yeah, that's what you do. I mean, you basically gotta and basically you gotta uh, hope here that. Okay, so the Gastron was able to hold on. So Geo's uh, Goldengo is able to go first. Picks up the knockout on there. I if, think that may have. Uh, uh, I think I may have. Real. I think I may have sealed it for Geo here. Uh, so the Make It Rain could knock out that um, that gash on it. It should knock it out from this range because um, of where it is at right now. If it manages to hold on somehow, I which I doubt it's going to. It could go for the Earth out into it. Yeah. Oh. I think Geo's got it. I think Geo's got it because no, the Trastalize on there is actually still really rough, right? Because you get that boost from there. Um, the, the, but the only thing is we do have Geo still got uh, Taros. On the, oh no, he lost he Taros. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, never mind. Um, he just has to win the speed tie here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a speed tie. Um, if he's able to at least pick up the knockout here with actually, um, so Pixel Dingo doesn't really actually have a way of. Um, no, neither one do. Uh, oh, Shadow Ball, but that's going to be neutral. If it's enough. Ah. Uh, All right. It's, if, the it's, make it, it's, if the Make It Rain misses. Nah, yeah, and that's going to be game on that one. Uh, it did so much damage I think Matt's last gonna time. Take it. Yeah, yeah, it's a game for Matt. Yeah. Oh my so. gosh. That was so strong. Uh, on honestly, like that was one of those where like that that one HP sort of just still makes all the difference in the world. Um, it really so did. That, that, that's really kind of wild. I mean, like congrats to Matt. You know, you show up for a free tournament, and you win. Uh, what, I think like what fifty dollars. Yeah, fifty dollars. So, uh, pretty fantastic. I mean, it was that was a pretty stressful finals. Like I I don't know if you guys could hear it in the background, but we were all like screaming. And I mean, you obviously heard us screaming. Literally, yeah, like stuff. I think that was one of the most intense. Uh, Every game in this tournament, I feel like has had something that made it like sort really of yeah. Some of them have yeah. yeah. But like uh, honestly, I, I think it just really just goes to show you that like terrestrializing really sort of makes all the difference. It uh, does. It's just it's kind of crazy kind of stuff like that. Yeah. Um, a lot of strategy in terrestrializing too, and yeah. picking your types, when to do it, when you want to do it early or late game. So much strategy, but it's a blast, and I think it's it's a terror blast. Yeah, there, there you go. go. <laughs> um, so, I mean, congrats to Matt for, for making it and uh, winning that. So, congratulations to him. And uh, thanks to everybody who tuned in, who hung out with us all day. Um, it will not be the last time you'll see any of us. Uh, because, once again, keep the first open if you want to come hang out with us in person. Uh, yes. Matt, so, so Matt, Matt does get um, get, get gets one of these pins. It's our Psycho Turtle first place pin for video games. So, if you want one of these shiny cool pins and you want to take that throne from Matt, if he decides to show up on the first, <laughs> you can also come by and earn yourself one of these they're actually really nice um my tcg players are, are fighting about it because we don't have any more for them yet so <laughs> shh, don't tell them i know some of you are watching this but shh. uh but again thank you guys for joining us one more time uh, a special thank you to pow gaming and to pokemon labs for hosting us um Again, if you wanted to come by for community night, Friday, December twenty third, we will be ha they will be having Splatoon. They'll be having Mario Kart, Mario Party. If you want to, you know, end friendships before the new year begins, I guess. <laughs> um, and I, I, they also host Smash every Wednesday and Saturday. If you want more information, you can just type in Pow Gaming on whatever search you like. I will not judge you unless you use Bing. Um, <laughs> uh, but it has been a pleasure. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and for listening to us ramble. Uh, I am heading. We are heading out for the night. I yep. am once again, Regina. And once again, Arnie. And have a good night, guys. See you later.